Okay, so this is about cognitive issues with MS. Um, I, I said this before in my other video, I experienced, and I still do, cognitive issues for years. And I, I, it's really hard when you're a mom and you're sleep deprived and you have babies and you're exhausted and you're just running yourself ragged. You're not sure what's, you know, if something's really going on or if it's just life. Um, but I definitely experience it. I trip up on words all the time and sometimes we laugh about it and it's really funny and it's hilarious and sometimes it's just frustrating. Um, but I was, I just wanted to share this. I was, this was so exciting for me and so validating and like, oh, okay, I'm not like my brain isn't totally gone. Um, I was always a really quick learner and did good in school. I mean, I wasn't like super smart. I was never like that kid, but I just learned really fast. And so I would often get to, like in, in third grade, me and another girl got to like work ahead. And our teacher was great about like letting us just study independently. So that kind of, I would, I guess it was, I didn't realize it until this happened. My cognitive stuff started happening. I guess I kind of prided myself on that. <laughs> and pride is never a good thing. But at my last appointment, my last neuro appointment, I did a um, cognitive, oh, I wish I would have looked up the name. It's like a cognitive symbol dot test. And it's fairly simple, but it's widely used um, neurological exam. And they time you and you have to like look at the symbol key and write which number it goes to and, you know, as fast as far as you can. And I'm also extremely competitive. <laughs> so I thought, all right, let's see how my old brain's working. And um, I scored above average for my age and education level. So I was so happy. I thought, okay, I might trip up on my words. I might every now and then like drift off and think, what was I saying? Or I might, whatever, ramble. Ramble when I talk, but it's still working. <laughs> I can still use my brain and that, oh, that just that simple little test what that did for me I just felt I just felt better I felt like I don't know better about myself <laughs> my self-esteem and so if you ha aren't doing that and if your neurologist 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 <laughs> isn't doing that for you um have them do it because it's a really good um indicator so we'll do it at every appointment if I'm hopefully not if I'm kind of slipping back into having cognit more cognitive delay or issue they can kind of see it and then they have you do like the walking test I've never struggled on my walking test or balance test or um, any of the sort of reflexes and I just wanted to share that so thank you again for watching